welcome to Open Discussions for Women. My name is Annie Okoye. I am come to you tonight to let you know that this channel is a Christian-based channel. It's designed to provide words of encouragement and um, to discuss general topics um, of, that takes place in our daily, in our lives daily. Um, to to just encourage you from the Word of God and also to just um, discuss things that are relevant in today's time and um, discuss them from a spiritual perspective, from a godly perspective. So today I would like to speak to you briefly about a question that, um, that I've been pondering and this question is, are you ready for Jesus return? Now, um, earlier in the week, I post a trailer, and the trailer was entitled the same, Are You Ready for Jesus' Return? And in thinking about being ready for Jesus' return, I encourage you to think of anything that may be a hindrance, a hindrance to you being prepared for Jesus' return. Now, you need to know first, first, you need to always know this. You can't prepare yourself. The only way we are ready for Jesus' return is by acknowledging that Jesus is our Savior. The Bible says no man come to the Father except he come through the Son. We must acknowledge that Jesus died for our sins. We must acknowledge that he rose on the third day and defeated death for us that we might have eternity. In doing this, this prepares you for Jesus' return. So no, there is nothing you can do without Jesus in preparation for his return. With that being said, I'd like you to just think about it. What are some of the things that you feel are a true hindrance between you and God, between you and your preparedness for when he returns. When I think of this, I think of, I do not want to be unprepared. I have confessed the Lord as my personal savior and I know without a shadow of a doubt that he is my savior and that I will spend eternity with him. But I feel that with me being here, I have a responsibility to share this with as many people who will listen. So tonight I ask you, are you ready for Jesus' return? If you were given 24 hours to live, what would you feel you need to get right in order to see Jesus face to face? And if you can think of a few things, why not get them right now? I want to let you know this. No one know. No one. No one know. When they will leave, only God knows. So it's imperative that you live every day as if it's your last. Even if you're sharing the word of God through social media, ensure, my friends, that you're not doing it for your sake. Ensure that you're not doing it for the glory, but rather you're doing it for him to be glorified. That's the most important thing. I read a scripture, Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. I want to share this with you. It touched my heart deeply, and I'd like to share it. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version, which is my study Bible. And it reads, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, or his ear dull that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he does not hear. What does that scripture mean? 
in my heart I sincerely feel that God wants you to know it's not that he can't hear you and it's not that his hands are too short that he can't reach and help you but there is something that has separated you from him I am not placed here to condemn or to make anyone feel bad no please don't get me wrong for the word of God says in John 3 17 for God came not to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and I as a daughter of the Most High as a daughter of the King it is not my responsibility to call you to condemnation no my responsibility is to call you to repentance I would like to just encourage you if you are in sin if you are experiencing something right now in your life that you feel would truly separate you from God think about those things and then ask yourself this question is it worth your soul is it worth your soul if it's not worth your soul, then it's worth renouncing and denouncing and giving God complete authority in your life. So today, I encourage you, take a moment, take some time, think about that question. Are you ready for Jesus' return? If you were given 24 hours to live, what would you be trying to get right? Or do you have it all together? And if you have it all together, who are you sharing it with? Or are you just hogging it all to yourself? My friends, we have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to share this gospel. Is to share the word of God. And if we see someone lost or in need it is our responsibility to be the help for that need so as I stated earlier I did post a trailer earlier in the week and, and the title of the tra trailer was also are you ready for Jesus return if you haven't I encourage you to take a look at that trailer it's to um, just really have you take a moment to think on some of the things that can hinder you or separate you from God. And just as I stated before, I am not here by any means to condemn anyone because it's not about condemning. It's just about exposing sin. When sin, when we try to hide sin, it only buries us. With, with more pressures and it only separates us from our king from our God the Bible says as far as the east is to the west God will throw those sins into the sea of forgetfulness but you have to be willing you have to be willing to go to Father go to the Lord and confess your sins so I encourage you today, if there is anything that you feel is a hindrance or causing a separation between you and God, is it bloodshed? Is it fraud? Is it unforgiveness? Is it alcohol? Is it drugs? Is it prostitution? Is it idolatry? Whatever it is, the Bible says as far as the east is to the west, he will throw your sins into the sea of forgetfulness. The word of God says in Isaiah 59, 1 and 2, he's not, his ears aren't dull, that he can't hear you, but it is your sin that has separated you from him. And he has turned his face from you. He cannot stand to see sin. So you have to make a choice. And what I love about our Heavenly Father is 
He is just amazing. I mean, our God is an awesome God. He's amazing. And he's just, he loves us so much that when Adam fell, he had so much compassion. And he said, okay, Adam, you fail, but I'm going to make a way for my people no matter what. He said in his word that he He's, would that none perish, but that all have everlasting life. He made a way for us through his son, Jesus Christ. However, however, do you hear that? However, he has given each one of us something called will. And even our heavenly father will not make us change our own will. So if you choose not to live for Christ, if you choose not to accept Christ, then you are also choosing not to spend eternity with Christ. So please think about these things. Are you ready for Jesus' return? Is there anything that you feel you need to get right? Don't wait. Get it right. So, if there is something, you can feel free to pray this prayer with me. Lord, I acknowledge that I am a sinner and that I am hopeless and helpless without you. But with you, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ, I acknowledge that I can have eternal life. I believe that you gave your only Son that he came, walked a sinless life, and he bore my sins. That he died and rose, defeated death for my sake, that I might have eternal life. I confess this with my mouth, Lord, and I believe in my heart that Jesus died and raised from the dead for my sake. Thank you so much, God, for the gift of eternal life. If you have prayed that prayer with me, you are now a daughter or a son of the kingdom of God. Now for anything you feel it's causing a separation between you and God. Write those things down. Place those things in an area where you see them daily and denounce them daily. We do not have the power over sin without Jesus Christ. But with Jesus Christ in our lives, we have the power over sin. We do not have to conform. We do not have to be enslaved or in bondage to any sin. So I hope that this message has shaken you in your heart. I hope that this message has been a help to someone. I Hope that this message will change someone's life and make them think sincerely about the things that they're doing. Make them think sincerely on the question, are they really ready for Jesus' return? I thank you so much on for joining us for women. 
I'd like to briefly um, just announce that I will be starting a live chat also on YouTube and um, it will be under the subject title Godly Women Talk. As of this Thursday, I will be um, conducting the first live chat with guest speaker Prophetess Nicole Dooley. I will be inviting um, as many Christian YouTubers as possible, and it's totally open to the public, um, open for many to log on, ask questions, and um, get answers, and just join Godly Women um, talk um, about life from a godly perspective. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope also that you will hit a thumbs up if you like the video and share this also with a friend. Um, also, do not forget to subscribe. Subscribing is just as important. When you subscribe to my channel, you will be informed every time I post a new video and I want to assure you that as the Lord lead me I will continue posting videos and I will continue to seek God's face that the things that I speak about that they may be relevant and that they may um, be a blessing to your heart and soul so thank you so much I really appreciate all of your views and I really appreciate um, you taking out the time to spend time with me in the Word. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Take care. God bless.